Hey, ladies and germs. This is the last day of the New York City Comic Con. There's been so much to cover that we couldn't even fit it into one video. We got two slices of awesome for you. First up, we've got an interview with Kevin Shinnick, the writer-producer of the Mad Animated Series. We've also got the entire cast of, two words, Black Dynamite. We're doing a whole lot of fun stuff with the animated series. Like we get a chance to be animated, which sounds crazy, but it still, it's a, it's a rather animated character. But now with animation, like you know, like Dynamite can literally put his foot up somebody's behind. You know what I mean? So it's a, you know, it's it's fun with the action element and everything else. So we're doing a lot of crazy stuff, and we're, we're going to get sued. Snoop, you know what I'm saying? Like we got Snoop on the show, and obviously, there's nobody more pimp than Snoop. So you can't have a Black Dynamite series and not have Snoop in it. It just doesn't make sense. So um, yeah, I mean, and we brought back a lot of other people too, like Chalker Giddy Up, um, you know, Tasty Freeze, Arsenio Hall is back. Um, you know, Deborah Wilson is 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 tremendously amazing. She's just an amazing talent. We got her. Involved. We got people who wouldn't do the movie. But now we're doing the it's cartoon. Doing it, yeah. Like Clifton. Clifton, Clifton Powell. Clifton Powell was gonna do the, didn't want to do the movie, but now he's doing the cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> um, also, uh, Chris Reed, kid, the kid from Kid and Play, hysterical. Oh, kids in it? He is fucking hysterical. Wait, you'll see. Okay, that's you'll great. See. He, pay, he pays a leprechaun pit. <laughs> <laughs> because we're in the 70s, we're able to bring back a lot of the 70s icons on the show. We have a show with Richard Pryor. Um, we didn't bring back Richard Pryor. Not but actually. Okay, that's but, hilarious. Like, we that. <laughs> <laughs> but we brought him back as best as we could, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, Mr. T, a lot, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of fun characters. Michael Jackson, young Michael Jackson. Mick, Mr. T is still here. Yeah, but yeah, we got we, the we old Mr. T. We bring him back, T. you know. Yeah. I mean, to to yeah. younger. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Exactly. When we write Honey Bee or we write Black Dynamite's lines, it's, it's. We're writing from Kim Whitley's, the, the, what Kim Whitley brings to the character is from that voice of Kim Whitley. You know, so it's really just finding the thing that those characters do really well and homing in on that and, and allowing the, the character to actually write the script for you. You know, like Tommy Davidson, he's cream corn, but he's Tommy Davidson. So when I'm writing the script, I'm thinking, what would Tommy say here? <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, that's so it, it's. Either way, I think it, it works really well. I guess uh, going to um, oddity museums and wishing I could shop there. And when I found out I couldn't shop there, I started making my own oddities for myself and uh, found that other people wanted them too. And it all started with the two-headed skeleton and went from there. Now we do candles and soap and other more practical items. And I do all the sculpting, molding, and casting of everything you see here. The soap and the candle are the same, the same sculpture. And it's just really researching materials and that sort of thing to make different products. It's really a lot of, uh, I've been doing a lot of re, uh, research and development. <laughs> I started out as more of an effects guy and now I'm more of a novelty store. <laughs> it's so funny, people always say to me, well, what's further down the line? Our show is so topical that we are literally writing what's gonna air like probably a month from now. So when people say what's out in the future, I'm like, the future is what we're working on today. So like, you know, our sketches today will be like a Moneyball Z parody or, or, or something as relevant as that. And, and we have a little topical segment at the top of each show which tries to comment on something that's happened within the week. So we stay very on top of it. There really is no future planning at all. It's all very in the moment. Next week or two weeks, I guess, we have our Halloween special, which is a big deal. And uh, we've got a whole stop motion parody. We've got a lot of celebrity voices and stuff. And we've got, as if you know the show, you just know it's fast paced with a whole bunch of different sketches in terms of comedy, in terms of look. So we've got all sorts of treats in there. Our first uh, movie parody is uh, Kitchen Nightmare Before Christmas with Gordon Ramsay. And he uh, finds himself in the town of Halloween with the Jack Skellington and whatnot from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, Seth Green is voicing him. And we have Matthew Lillard reprising his role is Shaggy and we have a Scooby-Doo parody. I've been uh, writing with Robot Chicken for a while and uh, those guys like family as well and Jeff Johns and I are friends and and so in line like the Star Wars specials we've done at Robot Chicken we want to know what's what's another special we could really have fun with that audiences would really connect with and Jeff came up with the idea we should do DC characters so yes we're all getting back together the band's getting back together again to do a, uh, a DC RC special. How cool was that stuff? That was awesome. 
Stay tuned for part two. Check that out. It's my interview with David Liss, writer for Marvel, Black Panther, Mystery Men. It's some good stuff. Check it out. Thank <laughs> you.